Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Camp Kaiju. My name is Vincent, and we are talking about monster movies. Each week, I do a short video, around five minutes, talking about um, a monster movie that I just recently watched. And this week, we are talking about Son of Kong, uh, Son of Godzilla. We talked about Son of Kong last week, and I gotta tell you, um, I really like Son of Godzilla. And, and okay, well put the brakes on Vincent. Before we get a little further, I want to let you know that the show is going to go like this. We're going to talk about what we loved, what we found challenging, and what we found just really campy and goofy and maybe a little heartfelt. So I'll get into it. Son of Godzilla really, um, really works for me on a lot of levels. I love the relationship between Godzilla and his son. Now, I know at this point in the series, the movies were aimed towards children. I get that. Um, I think that that's not necessarily a bad thing. And the inner child in me loves to see the kaiju anthropomorphized. I like, I like that. I like to see a personality in the King of the Monsters. And, um, <laughs> and their relationship is really funny. I mean, I'm not a dad yet, but you know. Okay, first of all, I'm not gonna say I, 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 I uh, support Godzilla's child raising, but, but it's effective. Um, I also liked the characters of Goro and Psycho. I thought that their um, relationship was really fun and worked. They had great chemistry. I really liked, this is really little, but I like this, uh, spoiler alert, I like the snow at the end. I've never, I mean, I think it's probably still the only Godzilla movie where the kaiju are in the snow. Just because it was different, I liked it. Um, what I found challenging about the movie was the pacing a little bit with the human characters. Um, I just thought it could have been maybe a little quicker. <clears throat> I thought that, and how do you do that, right? I mean, there's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't write the movie. I'm not gonna go back in time and tell them what they should have done. Um, but if you have any suggestions, you know, hit me up. Love to talk about this movie some more. I know the design for Manila is not a fan favorite. I agree with that. I He looks like a gross, dumpy poop monster. Um, but the creature design that kind of really gets me the wrong way is Godzilla's suit. Why? all of a sudden does he have like his eyes on the top of his head i don't know it's a little too goofy for me and it's not my favorite um what did i find campy about this movie well this movie revels in camp it is completely the tone a we know it's for kids but b i don't think it's a detriment to the movie um godzilla and manila's relationship at times falls into like a slapstick comedy routine um, or Manila with the camera chorus and I think that all of that works um, the director the team were like okay let's we could throw some comedy in here and because of the tone of this movie that we've established in the beginning we know we can get away with it so it works it's goofy I think if you're into that kind of monster movie, this this one's for you. So that's Son of Godzilla. Again, this is Camp Kaiju. Follow me at Camp Kaiju on Instagram. And next week, we will be talking about another Godzilla movie that I saw recently. <laughs> Godzilla versus Hedera. Just another off the wall movie for good or bad. So. Stay tuned, and let's do it. That was a chair that squeaked, by the way, and not my body that squeaked.